Hi, this is tutorial number 20 for Simple Traffic System version 1.0.43 or higher. In this video, I'll show you how to configure a new AI traffic car prefabs using the auto rig functions on the AI traffic car script. In this video, I'll also use a vehicle model from Stylized Vehicle Pack Low Poly as an example. There's also an integration for this pack that has all of these vehicles already pre-configured for you. This integration does require both packages and all you really need to do is import the stylized vehicle pack integration. So to get started, what I'll do is I'll select the AI traffic car blue prefab and I'll duplicate it. I'll switch back to the inspector view and then I'll drag and drop this prefab into the scene. Next, I'll expand it and I'll right click and select unpack prefab completely. From here, I can select the wheel meshes and delete those. And on the parent object, I can remove the LOD group, the car mesh, and the mesh render. And what I'm left with is just the core components required for the AI traffic car prefab. Next, I'll navigate to the prefabs folder under stylized vehicle pack, and I'll drag and drop car one onto the new prefab we're making. From here, I'll expand it and I'll right click and select unpack prefab completely. I'll select LODs one through three and delete those. All I really need is under car one combined, which is the four wheels and the body mesh. I'll move those up to be a direct child of the parent of the AI traffic car. Next, I'll expand the AI traffic car and I'll expand the wheels array. From here, we can see that we have some name fields that we could assign. So what I'll do with this is I'll rename these fields to match the naming convention used on the car. The front right is FR, front left is FL, back right is BR, and back left is BL. Now I'll select auto rig wheel mesh, and that will search the transforms and find the matching references and assign those transforms. That's it for the wheel meshes. We'll align the wheel colliders in just a moment. For the brake mesh, we can just press that. And if we take a look at the mesh object, we can see that there's a material named brake lights. If we expand the mesh render, the brake lights material is in element two. So what this is doing is it's searching for the mesh that has a material with the name brake light in it, and it's assigning its material index. That way emission can be enabled. At this point, all of the references are configured. I can drag and drop the new prefab onto the duplicated object. So now I have this new prefab referenced and I could delete the object from the scene. On my AI traffic waypoint route, I have spawn from AI traffic controller enabled and I have a reference to the random car. I'll switch that to the blue car. And now the blue car will spawn but before I test it in play mode, I'll open the prefab to make a few more configurations. From here, I'll flip around the view and set it to orthographic. I'll select the box collider and I'll move the front up a bit, the back up a bit, and then I'll flip over and move the left and the right side over a bit. And from here, I'll just center the X and the Z. Now the box collider is configured. Next, I'll select the front sensor transform and I'll move that up a little bit. Next, I'll go back to the parent object. And from here, I'll align the wheel colliders on the AI traffic car script. So I'll select align wheel colliders. Then I'll select the wheel colliders and then adjust the radius so they're a little bit bigger and I'll move it up. I think I want them to be about 0.44. And I'll just adjust it a little bit more on the Y axis. Next, I'll flip around to the back view and I'll select the front right and back right. And I'll center those colliders on the wheel mesh. From here, I'll take a look at the transform and I'll copy the X position. And I'll set the opposite. So that one was positive, this one will be negative, and I'll paste that X position. 
and now I've fully adjusted all of the required references. I'll back out of prefab mode to save the changes. Now I can press play. And we'll see the car spawns. And the wheels are moving. And when the car comes to a stop, the brake lights will come on.